So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are going to talk about this fraudulent manager, Gareth Southgate. <laughs> Yet again, another absolute embarrassment um, from England's England's Oh, he's the greatest manager. He has the best win percentage. Yeah, good one. Shut up. He's rubbish. Uh, get him out immediately. I want this geezer sacked. Yeah, with immediate effect. Get rid. Yeah, I don't want him taking us into the Euros. This guy is not good enough. I am absolutely sick to death of watching dead, boring, dry football every time this guy is in charge of England. He don't pick the right players. He don't play the right players when he picks the right players. His tactics are dead. Tactics, they're dead. And his substitutions are so predictable. The football is boring, man. Absolutely boring. But before we get into dissecting this properly, uh, make sure you are smashing the like button into the moon. Uh, make sure you are subbing to the channel. Closing in on 26K. Come on, literally just over 300 away. Uh, so big up to everyone who's locked in. Uh, Tuesday, I will be back. I will have video, another video out in here, by the way, tonight about Trent to Real Madrid. Um, my thoughts and feelings on whether that's true, uh, the fee of 75 mil, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So keep your eyes peeled for that later tonight. Um, but yeah, I'll also have some videos out tomorrow on here. Um, and Tuesday, I'll be doing the first half of Germany versus Holland. And then I'll be doing the full game of Spain versus Brazil. Ain't watching England versus Belgium, guys. Not happening. Not happening. Uh, so make sure you get your comments in. Super chats down below as well. And uh, big up to everybody who is liking the video. But uh, Arsenal, Arsenal, England, <laughs> so he's talking about Arsenal. England uh, obviously lost last night. 17-year-old um, Endrick uh, with the dagger after coming off the bench. Um, and yeah, Karma caught him up. That's what happens when you piss around with our St. George's flag, lads. Um, changing it into saying that it ain't. Uh, I don't really understand that. I did a video on that. Check that out. That's on this channel. But when I see the lineup last night, I was like, mm, okay, this ain't going to be great then, is it? Uh, we had Ollie Watkins up front, a player that I actually kind of like. But why are you playing Ollie Watkins up front when you've got Ivan Tony on the bench? Don't get it. Yeah, you're going up against a Brazil team that is not all singing, all dancing Brazil, free flowing attack, attack, attack football. And Ollie Watkins is better on a counter attack in transition for all you hipsters out there. Uh, transitional football from back to front, quick ball over the top, bang, Watkins is now isolating the defender. Uh, and again, he was awful last night, Ollie Watkins. Played the whole game, by the way. Needed a goal, keep him on the bench, uh, keep him on the pitch and keep Ivan Tony on the bench. If I have Ivan Tony, I am telling Gareth Southgate, swivel. Yeah, keep your gig. I don't want it, mate. And I'll be declaring. And I'd make it so public, it'd ruin everyone. I'd make it public. I do not want to play for England until I'm actually appreciated for being one of the top strikers in the league. Yes, Ollie Watkins is having a great season. I'm not dissing Ollie Watkins. I think he's a good player. But in a game where it's going to be a slower tempo, a game where the teams are not going to go 100 mile an hour like Premier League football, you need somebody that's going to hold the ball up back to goal. Well, Ollie Watkins ain't as good as Ivan Tony. He runs the channels well, well, so does Ivan Tony. His link-up play is not as good as Ivan Tony's. One-on-one, -on -one, yeah, isolating a centre-back, a full-back, I think Watkins is better. Finishing, Ivan Tony's better. So Ivan Tony, for me, ticks more boxes. Ivan Tony's movement in a box is better. So, and I think he scores more different types of goals than Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins is a fantastic player. I just think that Ivan Tony's better. And the fact that Southgate called him up and then left him on the bench is absolutely ridiculous. It's a friendly. Yeah, and people are saying, said to me on Twitter when I posted out, get him out. Oh, but, 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 but it's a friendly. Yeah, cool. This is where you're supposed to be trying stuff. This is where you're supposed to be putting in di different plans to see. Let me see how that works. Let me see how this works. We know what Ollie Watkins can do in the transitional football. He's a bring him off the bench player with 20 minutes to go, in my opinion, right now for England. Now, Harry Kane's going to start, we know this. But is Ivan Tony third choice in the pecking order? If I'm Ivan Tony, bin him, bruv. Bin him like Ben White did. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Uh, let's talk about Ben Chilwell. Why is he here? Why is he here, guys? 
Why is he here? Where's Livramento? Is Livramento injured? Is he actually injured? I genuinely don't know. Either way, Ben Chilwell, if he's on the plane, we're in trouble. Uh, Harry Maguire. Absolute calamity. Why is this guy still getting picked, yet players like Tamori don't even get looked at? Why? Makes no sense to me whatsoever. Why? I don't get it. Lewis Dunk came off the bench. Um, again, I would have him in the squad. Yeah, Conte says better at right back than centre back. But again, why is he in the squad? <laughs> oh, but we've got injuries. Okay, cool. We've got injuries. Uh, Joe Gomez came off the bench. Jared Bowen came off the bench. Um, Madison was sat on the bench. <laughs> Ivan Tony sat on the bench. So kind of making no sense whatsoever here straight away. Madison and Tony on the bench and stayed there the whole game. Wow. But, 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 but we got another game on Tuesday and what? I want to see Madders and Ivan Tony play for England in that game against Brazil. But they didn't. Uh, and it's a Brazil team, by the way, that was giving debuts out left, right and centre. With a new manager. Um, Phil Foden played all right first half. Weren't great at all second. Played the whole game. Conor Gallagher dropped a stinker. Rubbish. Don't want to see him on the plane. Declan Rice weren't great. Let's just be real with it. Um, weren't great at all. Southgate came out after the game and said that he had a great game. Yeah, that's how you know this guy is a wrong one because he didn't have a great game. Let's just be real with it. He did not have a great game. Stop lying. You're lying to the public. You're conning the public, mate. You know, like we didn't all watch the game. Oh, I thought he had a great game. And Kobe Mino did some great turns and all that. Whoopie do. Yeah, whoopie do. Stop trying to con us, mate. We have eyes. We watch the game. Yeah, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. But anyway. Uh, Jude Bellingham dropped a stinker. Dropped a stinker. Again, cool. I like Bellingham. I think he's a decent player. He got taken off in the end. But at the same time, I don't... I'm sorry. Yeah, but if you're going to play Jude Bellingham, you can't have Conor Gallagher in the same midfield. Just ain't going to work, lads. Um, Gordon. Gordon. Okay. He wouldn't be getting on the plane for me. And if he is, then that kind of sums up Gareth Southgate. Yeah, I know we've got players out injured at the moment. But if you're going to play Gordon because you've got players out injured in the wing position, then why aren't you giving Ivan Tony a chance? Why aren't you playing Madison? Right? Why aren't you giving other players a chance in the team that you don't necessarily play on a regular basis? Because you're doing it with certain players, but not others. Makes no sense. Uh, substitutions. He brought a Marcus Rashford. Ducking out of 50-50 tackles and headers. Running in straight lines into defenders and falling over. Spanking the ball off of the first man after running in a straight line. This guy is trash. If this guy's on the plane, we're finished. This guy looks like he can't be bothered anymore. Yeah, the only reason this guy's hyped is because he feeds kids. Let's just be real with it. He feeds kids, lad. So, you know, we have to... Oh, it's Marcus. Oh, he's such a nice young man. Get out of here, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Not good enough. Don't want him on the plane. Ain't good enough to play for England. Ain't good enough to play for Man United. Let's just be real with it. It was a very painful and disappointing uh, performance. Uh, the same problem still exists, if I'm being completely honest. Um, it's just the same old, same old with England. You've got a squad that you look at on paper as an English person, an Englishman. Yeah. You look here and you think, right, the players we can pick, the pool of players we can pick, we have got unbelievably good players. We've got some amazing players. Yeah, I did this yesterday. We've got two players pretty much for every position that are decent. Yeah. Goalkeeping wise, I don't think we're blessed at all. You've got dinosaur arms. His arms are too small. He ain't good enough. However, Aaron Ramsdale is not the answer. That guy can't concentrate, if the, especially if there's a pigeon on the pitch. So we're not blessed. So my goalkeeper would be Pickford with Ramsdale as backup. Johnston ain't it. I don't know why he still gets a gig. And Nick Pope, I think he's still out injured. Um, and again, I ain't really buzzing for him either. Uh, left back, Livramento. He should be starting for England. He should be starting for England. Yeah, then you can put Chilwell as a backup if you want. Yeah, or you can put Rico Henry as backup. 
Yeah, right back. Kyle Walker's still the best English right back. Um, and then I'd have Ben White in the squad. And you could rotate the two. Uh, different games. If you're going up against a real fast winger, like Mbappe, then I'd play Kyle Walker. If you're going up against a less pacey winger, a bit more tricky, then I'd go Ben White. Um, Centre-backs. Tamori and John Stones have to be the starters for me. Yeah, and then after that, you could throw in um, a Lewis Dunk and a Mark Gay. You could put them as the backups. I don't want Harry Maguire anywhere near this squad. Midfield, Declan Rice. Cool, I'm happy with that. Yeah, Declan Rice, Kobe Mino. Yeah, Jude Bellingham. Who else is there? Um, Madison. Phil Foden can play centre. You know, we could play Trent in the centre. We've got enough options to play midfield, yeah, that can rotate non-stop. Yeah, you can pick different players for different games. Or you can just find a set formation to play the better ones, but then you've got a solid bench. And I just don't understand what this guy does. I really don't get it. Honestly, I do not get it. I don't get it. Then wing winger-wise, yeah, we've got Saka. Obviously, he didn't play. He went in the squad. Nevis Palmer. But they've been the two right wing options. Again, you can rotate the two. Left side, yeah, you could have uh, Grealish out there. Yeah, you could have Grealish and you could play Foden. I know Foden ain't great on the left, but you could have Grealish out there and drop Foden or put Foden in the middle somewhere or put Foden on the right. There's so many options we have in the attacking positions. Rashford, I do not want you there. There's so many players we can pick on that left side or the right side or the midfielders. Yeah, you could take Kobe Mino out, put Declan Rice as a six. Yeah, and then play a different formation. Uh, sorry, different personnel. Yeah, you could go with Bellingham as an eight and Madders as a ten. Yeah, you could even go um, Bellingham and Rice. Yeah, with Grealish as a ten or Foden as a ten. Up front, we've got Harry Kane and Ivan Tony, and then Watkins could be the third choice. Yeah, we've got so many decent players, and this guy's going to pick the same old crap. Connor Gallagher, Anthony Gordon. Despite him playing well since he's gone Newcastle, yeah, and he's leveled up since Everton. I'm sorry, this guy is not good enough. Especially when we're going up against Foden's, Grealish, players like that. I'm sorry, mate. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Not the guy. Not the guy. But we know what this manager's gonna do. Yeah. Centre back, you could also have Braithwaite in there as a backup if you want. Um, Joe Gomez could be another one. No, but at the same time, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking there's such a good pool of players. Ross Barkley's having a great season. But we all know Jordan Henderson's going to go. Yeah, we all know Chilwell's going to go. If Luke Shaw's fit, he's going to go. We know Harry Maguire's going to go. It's just ridiculous. This manager stinks. It's not good enough, lads. It really ain't good enough. Yeah, and the fact and reality is we are, as a nation, the Tottenham hotspur of national football, international football. Yeah, we are the Tottenham. We've got Decent players, decent players, but as soon as it comes to crunch time, we bottle it. And that is exactly what happened last night. Bang, 17-year-old Endrick comes off the bench and scores 1-0. We had no answers whatsoever after that. In fact, they should have batted us second off. We were awful. We were absolutely awful. And I don't care if it was only a friendly. It is not good enough. Anthony Gordon was given his debut. Why? Konza, debut. Kobe Mino, cool, debut. It's actually mad. And Brazil had lost their last three games going. I've just read that now. Brazil had lost their last three games going into that. Gareth Southgate said after the game, the difference in the game was one moment, the ruthlessness of football at this level. What are you waffling about? One moment. Pathetic. The loss to Brazil is a bump in the road. I'd be a seismic shock to the system. But it was an illustration of where England's high ambitions could yet fall down again, according to this report. Unbelievable. When you've got bums in this team like Rashford ducking out of tackles nonstop, there was a, as soon as he came on, there was a 50 50 header. In fact, it was probably in his favour 60 40. He didn't even bother jumping. Yeah, get that geezer out of the squad. He's an absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Yeah, Harry Maguire letting Rodrigo clean through because he couldn't control the ball properly. Yeah, brain dead. And you'd think he'd have a big brain with the size of the bonce on him. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not having it. I'm not having it. And this is why I ain't doing the game against Belgium on Tuesday. I'm going to do Germany versus Holland. 
first half, and then I'm doing the whole game of Spain versus Brazil. It's like it's watching decent football. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and feelings and all of that. Uh, what would your squad be for the Euros for England? Who would your manager pick be? Yeah, because I'll be real. Tommy Tuchel is going to be available in the summer. Thomas Tuchel is going to be available. Jose is available now. Conte is available now. Graham Potter is available now. There's there's managers available, guys. Yeah. And people are saying, oh, but they haven't got time. They haven't got time. What do you need time for? These managers all are students of the game, masters of the game. They watch the game every day. They know the players inside out. They've played up against these players with their teams when they've managed. They sit and watch football all day, every day, pretty much. And if they don't, their staff will be telling them, right, this is his weakness. That's his strength. That's this and that. That's what you got to do. It's not rocket science. Are you telling me Gareth Southgate is coaching these players? He's not. He's a bum. And on that bombshell, we're out of here. Leave your manager pick down below with your 25-man squad. Um, yeah, we're out of here. Get this geezer out. Get this geezer out, mate. He's not good enough. Go back to being the uh, Dorchester concierge, mate. Oh, he's a lovely young man. He's Gareth. Everyone's nan loves Gareth. Guess what? We don't care, nan. Win me a tournament. And he can't. He's proven he can't get over the line. Get him gone. Save the Euros. Save our tournament. Because I'll tell you something now, with the pool of players we can pick, yeah, we've got a bloody good squad. Unfortunately, this idiot ain't going to pick all the players that are required to go and win it. He's going to pick his favourites, who will ultimately embarrass this nation once again, guys. Because it's all about jobs for the boys, favourites. Notice how many Man United players he was bringing on. What, is he after the Man United gig? Yeah, embarrassing. Get him out of here. Get him to United ASAP. Adios.